Hello and welcome. I was given this model by Raven Waffle to demonstrate how to unify materials. If you click on materials, you can see this model uses one to three, six materials. And if you go to edit mode, you can select these and then select to get all the faces that use that material. Now what we could do is just go to object mode and then remove all of these, but then they end up using just one material that has just a color so they all end up having one color. So we will have to use a UV map with a texture to save the individual colors. This is what, for example, Ravenfield does. I'm gonna split and add a UV view. And here I'm gonna open an image. I'm just gonna use Ravenfield's example texture as an example. If we go back to edit mode, I'm just gonna remove this. I'm gonna deselect everything, hit Alt A, and I'm gonna start with uniform because it's the brightest. I'm gonna set select. And before we unwrap this, let's make sure that this actually uses the texture. In this case, we have to use nodes. This is uh, Blender 2.82a. All right, so I switched to Kelvar somehow. Again, let's go, let's go to Uniform, use nodes, and make sure that base color is actually based on the image. Let's select the image too. Okay, if we move this around, we can see that it does affect the color. But we have everything selected. Again, let's only select the uniform. And if we move this around, we can see that the colors change even partially. Uh, we have different uh, solutions for that. Since we only want flat colors, we can simply go to the UV editor here, press S for scale and press zero and confirm. And then they're all on one point and we can move this point around. We can be a bit nicer about it and go here, press U, unwrap, and then the results will vary. Again, U, Unwrap Smart will be a bit more diverse. U Light Map Pack will be a bit more effective, I guess. Q Projection, Cylinder Projection, Sphere Projection, Project from View, or just Unwrap. And then scale down and put on the area where it should be. And to continue, we just click the next one, deselect everything, select this one material. And I guess this is supposed to be one of the darker ones. Not the darkest though. So we're gonna actually put it here. So let's... uh. This time we're going to just scale it to zero. So while these are all selected, we are in edit mode. Let's go with the mouse here, press S, zero, enter. And now we will just drag this over here. And now we'll just switch to uniform two on this material. OK, uh, let's go to skin. Yeah, OK, skin will be this area. Uh, deselect everything, select skin. Let's unwrap this one. I prefer when you can see a little bit of shape and move it over here. Okay, and now we just switch this to Uniform 2. Hardly noticeable, but yeah, you can see a little change. And so on and so on. I can also deselect this particular material, go to Uniform, select this. This is probably the darkest. Uh, let's unwrap it, scale it down, move it here, and uh, switch to Uniform 2. Okay, deselect Armor, select select doesn't seem to be actually used okay we can just delete this one uh, we have to do this in object mode though okay equipment select i'm going to unwrap it scale it down move it over here and we can actually scale this i mean it doesn't matter since we're not using any detail at all it really doesn't matter since these are the same pixels and now we have basically minimized everything to just one material. We can simply, in object mode, delete all of these. And just to double check, select everything, assign. My solo mat uniform. And that's it. That's how you do it. And if you didn't have this image ready beforehand, well, you simply create one. For example, in GIMP, this one is a 128 by 128 picture. You really don't need many pixels for all this since these are flat colors and let's assume we start with white i would use the rectangle tool and start by filling everything with the first material uh, let's see where's the color for that here hex value copy that paste it over here and then just go to edit fill there's also a shortcut for that. I think it's control dot usually. I changed it to control and the key next to my left uh, control key. So we're done with that. Let's go for the next color. This one is a 
not full red. Here we go. And the skin color, copy that, paste it here. There we go. Uniform color, paste it here. There we go. I think armor wasn't used. Okay, so we go for equipment, equipment color, and uh, paste it in here. And here we go. All right. Uh, if you want, you can clean up these, but it really doesn't matter. But if you want, I would use uh, either the pencil tool with a one pixel brush and then use shift control to make straight edges like that. And then I would use the fill tool, the bucket here. Excuse me, that was the wrong color. N, control click here to get the color. Use the correct color to draw. And then fill up this and the oh, and oops, okay. This and then I guess this here also. Okay, now it's kind of perfect. And then just export it as a PNG, I would say, for completely flat images. Why not? Dot PNG. And then just open it in here. All right. Let's switch the image uh, here. <laughs> okay, and now let's fix everything. Uh, we can go by visual and just move them around as we see fit. But now we cannot go by material select. We only can select here visually. So you have to be careful about uh, at what point you remove the whole um, materials. Yeah, that was rather quickly. Hope this helped. Give this video a like. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. Thanks to Raiden Waffle for this model. You should check out his mod once it's out. And I will see you next time. Until then, ciao!